Hey team, this is Kelly Tinnen with Kelly Tinnen Consulting, your performance improvement experts. Before we start today, don't forget, click on the subscribe button and tap the notification bell so that you're updated on all strategies and all things organizational and performance improvement that will help your business grow and your business succeed. Today, I wanna to talk about advice for small business owners, specifically when bringing on new employees. So bringing on employees is an important step in our organization and our growth and our development as companies, but there are methodical steps that have to take place when you're getting ready to bring somebody on, but also during their onboarding process and then what happens with that employee throughout their tenure at your organization. So I wanna talk a little bit about that today. So what is some advice that I would give to small business owners as they're starting to bring on new employees? One of those is organization, getting organized. So it's really important to be organized and get yourself organized before you're ready to bring somebody on. Uh, one of these things that I do and I have done in the past is I've just started making a list of things that I do throughout the day and looking at that list and then it helps me really kind of visualize and conceptualize, okay, these are the things that I'm doing day to day. What buckets do they fit in? Is this a bucket that somebody else can, can do? Is this a bucket of things that I need to be doing? as the business owner or the president or the business development person. So getting organized in that respect, starting to really understand, all right, what is it that I do? What is it that I actually need? I think a lot of people get excited at the prospect of being able to bring on employees, but don't really think it through about, okay, well, what is it that I actually need and I actually need to invest money in? And then also having those systems in place. I don't wanna bring somebody on until I have certain systems in place. I have policies and procedures. I have some clear guidelines in terms of what is it that I need somebody to do. These are all things that I really wanna think about before I engage with interviewing and trying to bring somebody onto my organization. And this also includes really kind of starting to think about what your culture is as a company. What is our vision? What is it we're going to achieve? What is our strategy? And so really thinking around, around those things and spending some time really finding your identity as a company will help you strategize in who you need to bring on, how you need to bring them on, and really what their role is going to be in, in your organization. But with that comes a little bit of flexibility. When we're dealing with people, uh, that's exactly what we're dealing with is, is people. And people have needs, people have families, people have illness, people we're, we're human. And things that happen, spontaneous things happen from day to day. And so with that, we have to be able to afford a little bit of flexibility in our in our company. And so learning to learning to be flexible and not just in our day-to-day -day work, but but also being flexible in maybe stretch assignments and different things that we give to our employees. And we'll talk a little bit more about that because uh, I want to touch on professional development as well. And that onboarding experience is also really important. And that does actually touch into a, a bit of professional development, which I wanted to talk about. The onboarding experience, now when we think of onboarding in a company, and so many people statistically, when they think about onboarding, it's kind of like, oh, like it's the compliance piece. But it's really a bigger package. It's about bringing somebody into the fold. Almost like bringing somebody into your family, for lack of a better term. I don't always like to use that work family connotation, but it, it's almost it's almost like that, bringing somebody into the fold. More people today than in the past want to work for organizations where they share common values, they share a common mission, that they're all driving the bus in the same direction towards the same goal. And so your onboarding experience really can be uh, meshed around that and can give your future employees, your current employee, really a big picture of what your organization stands for, what their role is going to be in the organization, and also how they can move through the organization. And so with that, you also wanna remember that you wanna maintain a personal touch. So what does that look like? in terms of helping your employee professionally grow once you bring them on to your organization, what does that look like? 
yes, they're doing a job for you, but it's really, I feel like hiring today and having staff and having employees is really like a give and take. Yes, they're there to do a role and they're and they're there to, to do a job. But as employers, we are also there to help our people grow and to help them prosper and to help make their lives better. Therefore, making our community better, maybe making people's life experiences better. So it's really a give and take. So in terms of personal touches, are we having those one-on-ones with our employees? Do we have a way that we can help them professionally develop? So whether that be stretch assignments, whether that be coaching, whether that be classes, and how can we support them in that? Um, because again, um, we want to we want to create longevity in our positions. We want people to stay, but we also want to help them grow. And we also want to all be on the same team and be on this that same bus driving forward. It's really a collaborative effort. If I had to pinpoint another piece of advice, collaboration in the workplace today. The advice is really true, bringing on people that are smarter than you. I think that really holds true in the workplace today. Everybody has prior knowledge and things that they can bring to the table. And everyone sees things through different sets of lenses and people in customer service may see things very differently than the middle manager or the CEO and their engagement with customers is going to be very different. So how can we all come together collaboratively to improve our internal customer and our external customer experience? And then really lastly, just sharing in that vision uh, at the end of the day, everybody wants to have a purpose. Everybody wants to serve something um, in their lives that is making a difference. And many companies do that. And we also help develop people in order to serve their communities better, to make their family life better. Just all in all, I think really to be better humans. So I'd love to hear from you. Share your thoughts and your experiences with me. Share your challenges. Uh, let's have a discussion. You can leave me some comments. You can email me. You can find me at www.kellytinnon.com. That's all we have for today's blog content. Now, don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you on the other side. We look forward to hearing from you.